the Cane Corso versus the Dogo Argentino, a guardian against a big game hunting dog. Which one is stronger? Who makes better working dog? And who is more suitable for the family? Let's the best win. The size. With about one inch difference in maximum height by males, both come with strongly built and muscular bodies. While the weight by Dogo Argentino females is lighter, the average weight by males is almost the same. The character. Both make very loving family dogs, since they are very people-oriented. While the Cane Corso turns out to be a bit more suitable with other dogs, both are not so suitable for small children and strangers. Also, they have a high prey drive. The Intelligence. The Cane Corso is considered the smartest of the two, which makes it easier to train. Dogo Argentino can be more stubborn and instinctual, so it is not recommended for first-time dog owners. The Strength. With a difference of about 2 miles per hour, both are considered relatively agile and fast dogs. And as for the bite, the Cane Corso has about 200 PSI more powerful bite force than the Dogo Argentino. This Cane Corso's bite exceeds the bite of most wild animals and predators, including the lion. The Working As hard-working dogs, both are used in most cases for the same jobs, including farm work, hunting and guarding. But on the other hand, the Cane Corso is more suitable for some more specific works, perhaps because it is easier to train and smarter. The Tolerance As breeds with short coats, both are more suitable in hotter climates, while Dogo Argentino is more sensitive in the cold. Both are not at all tolerant in small spaces and being alone for a longer time. The Life and Health Both have an average status in terms of general health. They are prone to some hereditary diseases, where the average lifespan is the same, but the Dogo Argentino has a higher lifespan potential. The Maintenance and Coast As relatively large dogs, both have approximately the same food needs, which are above the general average. On the other hand, Cane Corso turns out to be easier for maintenance and grooming, since even though Dogo Argentino's hair and coat are both pretty thin, they shed a bit more than other dogs. The Advantages the Cane Corso's strengths are strong instincts to protect their owners and properties, well-balanced physical attributes, manageable behavior when indoors, and novice-friendly grooming. Whereas of a Dogo, Argentino are quick responsiveness of a serious athlete, pack working, courage, and more capable and suitable for water and swimming. So now it's your turn. Which one do you think is better for working? And which one for the family? Let me know in the comments. And finally, suggestions for future episodes are also welcome. See you next time.